Hello everyone, the shaved fake accent guy is back at it again and you guys are watching the best news in the history of best news. Remember the shortest reveal in the game awards? Yeah, Prologue, which apparently is a new game which is coming from PUBG Corporations. And even though there is not much information about what this game exactly is, because all you see in the trailer is a forest and a guy just getting all crazy because he's way scared of whatever's in the forest. <laughs> Brandon Green, the creator of PUBG, has said that this game is not PUBG 2 and it is not even a shooter game. So what game could it be? Could it be a new horror game? He said that Prologue is a key part of Team's experiment with new tech and larger games. Which means Prologue is the first step towards these new tech experiments and he wants to deliver something very new in a global scale. Well to be honest it's really good because there are battle royales after battle royales and if this game isn't a battle royale and it's not even a shooter game then what game could it be? Now his dream is apparently to build worlds that are hundreds of kilometers by hundreds of kilometers without thousands of people, like Daisy for instance. And by prologue he hopes that he can achieve just that. Well of course PUBG is wildly popular all over the world and mostly popular in India with PUBG having different variants, even for PC with a light version of PUBG that helps anyone to play PUBG in any PC you have as well as mobile versions which have light and the normal versions both completely free. And it looks like Brendan Green wants to create something else and I for one am really happy that he is doing so. But not so sure exactly what that game would be. I guess we have to wait for a long time before this game can come up to the surface. Something we might be able to know is whether Witcher 4 is in works or not because there's a lot of rumors talking about the same. Now the biggest reason for this rumor is the deal between CD Projekt Red and Andrei Sapkowski, who is the creator of the Witcher book series and was not really fond of the game because he first of all doesn't like video games and second never thought it could be a thing. But then after a wild success of all the three Witcher games, he is now much more interested. And now this new deal reaffirms its existing title to the Witcher intellectual property in developing games, graphic novels, merch and much more. Now this means that CD Projekt Red has more interest in The Witcher and maybe they might want to make another one. The fact is CD Projekt Red didn't really say whether they will be making a new game but they also said that they won't be leaving this world and they will definitely will be coming back to make more games. Now of course a studio who has devoted 15 years of their time in Witcher series would never leave a world like that will always come back to this world. But I believe that they're taking a break which is why Cyberpunk 2077 is coming next year and then maybe after a few years they might go back to the Witcher world. It has also been told in previous interviews that Geralt won't be in the next games but might come as a cameo as Witcher 3 should wrap everything up and also the game won't be called Witcher 4 because CD Projekt Red co-founder has already told that this was designed as a trilogy and so having a fourth game doesn't make any kind of sense. Which means that the next game will be set in the same universe but won't be a continuation to Geralt's storyline as it's already done in Witcher 3 to be honest and will be quite different overall. So by the end of the day is a new Witcher game coming up? Maybe but not anytime soon because right now they're focused on the biggest project that is Cyberpunk 2077. And I guess everybody is very very excited for Cyberpunk 2077. Are you guys excited for Cyberpunk? Let me know in the comments below. Now that Witcher series is also on Netflix, it is the right time to be a Witcher fan once again. Don't touch Rush. Rainbow Six Siege has been adding more and more content and all of it is a big success and they say that at 2020 they want it to be more story focused which is quite amazing. Operation Shifting Tides was the final season for Six Siege this year because they brought two new operators who are not a part of a real world special operation force rather they are a part of Indian mercenary group named Night Haven. India is really stepping up to Rainbow Six Siege. This is so cool. Now according to the story Rainbow Six Siege invited Night Haven after stopping the hijacking of a super tank but the real reason is to keep it from being hired by an opposing organization and also to keep Kali and Vamai close at hand where they are more easily monitored. Now not everyone is enthusiastic about this idea as Rainbow Six soldiers earn a tiny fraction of what Night Haven earns. 
The video is about them in a cartoonish and more anime style which is kind of different than what usually Rainbow Six Siege goes for. And this trailer also promotes a Night Haven collection of premium cosmetics which is available till January 6th and will offer 18 customization options. Now as they told that they want to have more story in the game. It would be very interesting to see where will they take it from here since 2020 is just around the corner and it would be amazing to see what kind of content they can bring and what kind of new operators they might be cooking up. Well, there goes the neighborhood. It is now time to talk about what's next in Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty has brought more new classic maps from older games, new operator, new missions and much more. They have a new game mode called Cranked which was introduced back in Call of Duty Ghosts where players will be supercharged when they get a kill but if they don't get a kill in another 30 seconds, they will explode. A new Spec Ops mission Operation Strongbox and a pair of classic Spec Ops named Disinform and Bomb Squad are also available right now. There is a new operator called Nikto and there is a small catch, it's very tiny, it's a very small catch. You cannot earn this operator, you have to buy this operator. In order to buy this operator you need around 2400 CP and then there are more new bundles which I couldn't care less. Because nobody needs paid characters and cosmetics right now. It is so cool to see Call of Duty bringing back old maps from older games such as Waken which is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare maps and surprisingly there are no doors in this game which is really surprising. <laughs> And just by playing that map it brings back so many memories of me playing Vacant in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And there's another map called Shipment which is also from Call of Duty Modern Warfare but it is so chaotic that I don't know who to kill and who is shooting me. Because everybody is spawning out of nowhere. There might be an enemy guy spawning right in front of you. And then there's other modes such as Hardpoint or Headquarters which are in that map which makes no sense. So unless and until they can do some changes to shipment or maybe remove those modes altogether, shipment could be a lot of fun and what they should be including is free for all because right now people might be raging a lot in that game mode so what they should be doing is including free for all as a mode in that game map because nobody would have any clue whether they're winning or not and it would be genuinely challenging. Yo yo breaking news time, well basically this news came when I was sleeping so Yep, new shirt. Because this news is very important and what is it? Well Hellblade 2, that is the sequel of the Hellblade game, is coming to PC as well and is not only exclusive to the Xbox newest PC. You know the Xbox Series X which, which is a PC. Now during the Game Awards, Xbox Series X was announced and along with that Hellblade 2 was announced being the first game to be prepped for Xbox Series X which according to Phil Spencer will set a new bar in console gaming. Well very recently general manager of Xbox Game Marketing told to a fan that this game is exclusive to both Xbox Series X and PC. Well a lot of people including me speculated that this game is gonna come through Xbox Game Pass because well all the Xbox games are eventually coming through Xbox Game Pass. But now it's good to know that this game is coming on Windows PC not through Xbox Pass only. Now after the release of the trailer there has nothing been announced about the game whether it's a sequel and where the story is going to be heading but according to the trailer it looks like Henua has just gone all the way into the darkness and even her voices cannot you know take her out of it. Well to be honest Hellblade Senua's sacrifice is one of the most amazing experience in the recent years and you guys should definitely play it and if you want to play it you can actually get it via Xbox Game Pass if you don't want to buy the game just in case which is also going on a very good deal in Steam right now. But if you want to try out Xbox Game Pass now is the time because Xbox Game Pass because you can get 3 months of Xbox Game Pass by just paying 50 rupees right now. The way it works is just like Netflix where you have to pay per month some amount of money to play whatever games there is in the Xbox Game Pass. And there are more and more new games coming up. For example Metro Last Light was added and as well as my friend Pedro was also added to the Game Pass. So it is pretty cool. Once these 3 months are done you have to pay an amount of 329 per month to play all the games that you want to play. Which to be honest is a really good deal because there's so many good games like Metro Exodus, Forza Horizon and Hellblade Cinema Sacrifice just to name a few. Are you excited for Hellblade 2 because I am very much as it looks amazing and the first game was so fantastic that I'm very much excited to see where this new game is gonna head to. 
Well, that is all that was happening in the gaming world in this week of top 5 gaming news. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Leave a like, comment down below whether you enjoyed this episode or not and make sure to subscribe to Gamer Connect for more amazing content coming very soon. Join Gamer Connect community on Facebook and take part in active discussions every single day as well as join Gamer Connect Discord where you can post your creations to be featured in the next episode of GCS. Check out my YouTube channel Game in Madness where I stream from Monday to Friday with games such as Call of Duty, Apex Legends and much more. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. This was me Game in Madness and those were top 5 gaming news.